Sean, obviously we come into this game after getting a good point against Celtic. It's a quick turnaround, but equally we've got good momentum behind us going into Dundee. Yeah, we do. Uh, the squad are feeling quite confident at the moment. Um, they should be after the performance against Celtic. Um, so yeah, they're in. Um, they are in good spirits, but uh, this isn't the time to to sort of um, to stop that momentum or, or take the foot off the gas. We have to um, be at our very best again tomorrow to uh, to give ourselves the best chance to win. Yeah, the table's so tight at the moment. How big a game is this one and the week ahead? Yeah, it's a huge game, and uh, every game feels like that. I think we're uh, because the table is so tight. Um, one win or a negative result it has a big change in your league position, so we have to be uh, right at it. We have to certainly fight uh, like we did against Celtic, like we did against Ross County in our both. We have to have the same mentality. Um, after that, we can play, but the foundation has to be the mentality. Yeah, obviously uh, Dundee have got a new manager in, in Mark McGee. What, what do you expect from them in terms of style? How, how has he changed things there? Yeah, it's quite difficult to, uh, to prepare. They played a lot of systems in the last game. Uh, they played a different one again against Celtic, which was a different game for them. Um, so we'll, um, we'll have to be able to adapt, really, to how they play. We're not quite... Um, well, they're very early in his reign. So, um, no, we have to very much focus on what we can do. Um, and then, uh, and then we have to adapt to what uh, what Dundee do because they they do have um, it's not that clear at the moment exactly what what systems they are playing, um, but the style of play will be attacking. I think when Mark's given time, he will be an attacking manager. My experience of him at the national team was very good, a positive guy. Um, it goes into detail, so um, I'm sure in time it will be quite an attacking team he has. Yeah, I guess with that in mind, then the the focus is all on on us, what we can do with the ball, and how we cause them problems. Of course, yeah. When a team's like this, and a, and we only have two days uh, analysis or two games analysis, that's that has to happen. We have to focus on ourselves, um, and that's what we've done. So, um, but again, look, I, I mentioned it again, but the the mentality has to be the foundation of our performance. We have to fight like we did in the in the last game. A real desire not to get beat, uh, and from there we can play, um, and we've shown we can do that in the last few weeks. Yeah, obviously one of the downsides to the game on Sunday was Kevin Nisbet's injury. Have you got an update on him for us? No, unfortunately not. Um, hopefully we'll get that a little bit later today. But it, um, look, it doesn't look too positive at the moment, but we'll, we'll wait for the scan results um, uh, and the experts' uh, opinion on that. Yeah, obviously eight players were out against Celtic. Kevin, on top of that, is there anyone else going to be available for, for Tuesday's game, uh, Wednesday's game? Or uh, do you expect more people to be missing out? Uh, I think it's possible there could be a couple uh, might not make the game again. Um, I think Matt was uh, did incredibly well to finish the game Celtic. We'll give him to the last moment. Um, and no, unfortunately, nobody's back yet. So it's uh, a really difficult time injury-wise. Um, I don't think I've ever been involved in a team that's had this many. But on the upside, it's given young players, and we have a very young team, but we're giving them an opportunity and we need to, we need to push them. Uh, we support them, but at the same time, we need to push the performance levels again because um, we have to go again Wednesday. How difficult has this period with all the injuries been to, to deal with and, and how reliant are you on the development squad and, and younger players to, to come and almost supplement the first team squad? Extremely. Uh, now I think the average age of our squad is, or our team has been one of the youngest, not just in our league, but in, in Europe really. Um, so I'm wholly reliant on them. But we do have some good senior players still um, that are really helping and their performances have been very high. So. Um, Look, that's football. Uh, if somebody gets injured, it's your opportunity, and so far they've taken it. Um, we've had some really big performances. Um, I could really go through the team from Celtic. They were outstanding, uh, particularly first half. I thought we went toe to toe with one of the best teams in the league, if not the best team. Um, and then the last 50 minutes, we showed a desire not to get beat. So, really positive. Young players are doing very well, but we need to go again. Yeah, and the fans were magnificent against Celtic. How important will they be on Wednesday evening? Yeah, they, they always are. The way support have actually been really, really good. Um, uh, they've been a huge positive. Uh, and the home fans uh, in the Celtic game were, were needed. Those last 15 minutes were very difficult. We put so much in, we don't have much option to change. So some of our players had to were really on their knees by the end. So that extra support made a huge difference. Um, so there was a connection with the players uh, and the fans again. I've seen it in Hearts. I've seen it even in my first game, the last half an hour against Aberdeen. It's my job. I, I, I honestly want that every game. I want to see the stadium as, um, as full as possible in every game um, and the players giving the fans something that, one, they can be really proud of and two, that they can really support. Absolutely, Sean. Thank you for speaking to us and good luck. No problem. Thank you. Cheers.